How's it going? I'm David Katzmeyer from CNED, and I'm with the uh, gigantic 60-inch Sharp LC60 LE745U. There's, believe it or not, a larger version of this TV at 70 inches, so this review will apply to both. Uh, this is Sharp's mid-range LCD LED-based TV for 2012. It actually is the least expensive to include 3D compatibility. It also has a cooler smart TV suite. We'll get to both of those in a little bit, but first let's take a look at the styling of this TV. Uh, it is sharp, pardon the pun. Uh, the edges of this TV are actually sharp enough to need these little uh, rubber bumpers along the edge. That's because the frame is actually made of metal. Most TVs have a plastic frame, so that's a pretty cool and relatively subtle step-up feature. Uh, the stand is also another step-up. It actually has a swivel on it on a 60-inch size, not on a 70, however. And the whole look is really sleek, and I really like that they maximize the screen and minimize the frame. Connectivity is pretty good around back. You've got four HDMI inputs, one two USB, a component video input, and a PC input. I mentioned 3D on this set. It actually requires not included 3D glasses that are the active variety. The least expensive are about 50 bucks, so you're going to need to spend that for each member of the family that wants to watch 3D on this TV. There's also Voodoo apps on this TV for stuff like Facebook and Twitter. Despite the fact this TV is really big, when looked at from the side, it seems razor thin. It's only about two inches deep. That's thanks to its LED backlight. In addition to the slightly better smart TV apps, there is a new gallery mode that has a full screen version of those. You can also move those apps around. We really like the ability to program uh, one of the three remote keys to one of your three favorite apps. So it's a pretty cool feature in terms of customization. Speaking of customization, there's a plenty of ways to adjust the picture on this TV. There's a full CMS, 10-point grayscale, in addition to 11 species of smoothing. Uh, all told, these features don't really work as well as we expected, though, so we just stuck with the basic two-point grayscale when we adjusted the TV. In our lab testing, this TV didn't perform quite as well as the less expensive version, which was surprising. The black levels on this set are a little bit lighter, so they don't have quite as much impact when you're watching the picture in a dark room. The TV also has a little bit worse uniformity, so we saw some slight uh, blotches on the TV screen. Again, those kinds of things weren't as visible on the less expensive version. And again, with those uh, advanced picture controls not working as well as we expected, we weren't able to get color quite as good as, again, on the less expensive version. So all told, if you're just looking for 2D picture quality, we do recommend the step down on LE640U as compared to the 745. So while told if you're just considering 2D picture quality, we definitely recommend the step-down sharp LE640U over this 745. 3D picture quality on this TV is again not quite as good as we'd like to see. The main issue is crosstalk, which appears as ghostly images around some of the on-screen 3D objects. That's again not quite as good as we've seen on some of the better LCD TVs this year. That's a quick look at the Sharp LC LE745U series. I'm David Katzmeyer.